Just to explain a bit about um, the terms analog, digital or hybrid recording, um, which is something we get asked and totally fair question to ask because it's not a totally easy thing to comprehend. What does it mean? So if you were recording strictly analog um, and some bands, there's a band coming up that's going to be doing this, what does that mean? It means you're going straight from the live room into this console and what they're going to do is actually go straight onto tape which means there's no rooms for editing, you're just going straight onto a two-track tape for almost like a live, completely analog tape recording. So that's kind of analog in its truest sense of the word. And then you just print off the tape to WAV or MP3. So Brave Band's doing that, and I can't wait to do that one. Um, if we were working strictly digital, now what that means is we are still using the analog console to, to record the drums, the guitars, the vocal, the piano, strings, whatever it might be, but it's going, of course, it's going into the, the computer, into a digital audio workstation. Then you would use plugins, which are, of course, very popular, and the quality of plugins has in, increased dramatically. And plugins typically, for example, would be digital emulations of all of this hardware equipment you can see here. And they do sound great, and you can get some great results from them. Hybrid is for, for those projects which want to go the extra 10%, I would say. So rather than using a, a digital plugin, you'll be sending audio out of the digital world back into some of these analog units. And you do get a sort of a character which you can't always get from a plugin. Um, and the, the magic comes is when you send audio through multiple pieces of analog equipment and you get lovely analog saturation and distortion which is very very hard to emulate in the, the digital world. Um, I'm much more a fan of that but there's nothing to say you can't just use plugins and get great results also.